All right, friends, I've been looking forward to verse 10 in this story. Hopefully you've been reading through with me in Exodus chapter 2, and we come to this spot. We're just going to look at verse 10 today. Here's verse 10. The child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she named him Moses and said, Because I drew him out of the water. Okay, so this is the end of this uh, sequence here. The baby is born. The death decree, all the male Hebrew, national death decree, all the male Hebrew babies are to be killed. The mother hides the child for about three months, and but it's pretty clear unless something drastic is done, the baby will be slaughtered. Uh, they're supposed to be all thrown in the Nile and drown in the Nile River. They work out this plan. The baby's in the basket. Pharaoh's daughter comes down to the river to bathe, and you know she finds the baby. She makes this arrangement that this woman, who's actually the boy's mother, He's going, she's going to nurse the child, and then she's going to return the child, and the child will become Pharaoh's daughter's son. Okay, so that's what we have here, and we come to this verse. And so, uh, Jochebed, the mother, she carries through. She does everything she can, and packed it in as much as she can into a very short time, raises the child as far as she can, and then she delivers the child to Pharaoh's daughter to be her boy. And that's when the child is named. Now listen to this. She, remember at the beginning of this, at the beginning of this chapter, the, where did she find the baby? The baby was in a wicker basket right, in the, right on the edge of the river, drawn from the river, and she says, okay, I'm going to name him Moshe, Masha, or Moshe, Moses, we say in English, and she says, why? And we just read it. Why is she calling him Masha, which means lifted, lifted up, drawn from, drawn out, drawn out from the water? Because she says, because I drew him from the water. And here's the the ironical piece in this name, which is just, just, I love it. His name is going to be Moses, and every time in the, in the coming sections here where he's going to confront Pharaoh, every time he stands up to confront Pharaoh, his very name, oh, Moses is here to have an audience with Pharaoh. His very name drawn from the water, his very name is going to be a reminder of the, the national death decree against the Hebrew boys that, that didn't really succeed in his case. And so God is a way of, you know, the, the, the Pharaoh decided that the river would be the life for the Egyptians and death for the Hebrews, but in fact, now Moses is drawn forth from the water. He's going to be a deliverer, a bringer of life for the Hebrews. And actually, sadly, it's going to turn out he's a bringer in a sense of death to the Egyptians, not because of himself, but because Pharaoh is going to be resistant and cause there to be a uh, the, the plague. God's going to come in with the plagues. So anyway, a very interesting piece here. The water is to mean death, but it's caused to bring life. And Pharaoh's plan is going to backfire kind of, you know, remarkably. Just like so many things in the Bible is the story of, you know, this massive reversal. The first will be last and the last will be first. The things that look impossible, things that are impossible with man, with God, they're very possible. And it's true for you and I in our lives today. The things that look impossible for us with our eyeballs, and we say, there's no way. But with God, all things are possible. Friend, I hope you'll take a good lesson from this today. That Pharaoh might be on his throne, but God is on his throne. Don't forget today that God, the God that you serve, the God who draw deliverance from the water for his people, that God is on the throne, and he's on his throne for you. Oh, and hey, don't forget to stop in at... 11 o'clock Monday time for our, our YouTube live where we uh, deal with the, the devotionals we've looked at this week and we can, we can talk about it, kind of learn from each other. I want to learn from you. So let's look at that together. Hope to see you there.